तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक मीन्स वेन क्वेश्चन इवन लाइक दिस कंसिडर दिस यू एंड डब्ल्यू यू इज दिस ऑफ आर टी बॉल फोर ए बी सी डी सच दैट इवन बी माइनस टू सी प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो And W is uh, when A is equal to D and B is equal to C. These are two subspaces space of R to D power four. Then how we calculate basis for each, and what is the dimension, and how we calculate basis for intersection. Here intersection is very very important to know how we calculate. Uh, these type questions are very important in vector space, especially. Uh, so here in this lecture, I will explain everything as well as I will explain. what is linear sum and what is direct sum and how we check it's a linear sum or direct sum so please uh, watch complete lecture now i will explain see first of all basis for how we calculate basis for u so for basis for u What is the condition given? Actually, there are four independent vectors right now. Four vectors are required to expand. Now, x already independent. There can be uh, a already independent. Condition given on b, c, and d. It means a is independent. So, one vector fixed a. Remaining b, we can write in terms of c and d, or c we can write in terms of b and d. So here two are independent and one is dependent of, uh, on others. So total how many independent vectors we have? Already a is there, and from here two because one is dependent. So total three independent vectors are there. So it means we have, what is the dimension of u? Dimension of u three. How many independent vectors we require? That much. So once you know that much, you can write basis for you. Write any three elements of our code which satisfy this condition. So which one is there? You take one, x one, a one, b one, c zero, d. It satisfies this one. No, uh, B, C zero, then B is minus one, one minus one zero. Yeah. Then zero, one zero minus one. This also okay. And then take uh, change the position. Uh, one minus one. This is anything. Anything you can write element which satisfies this equation. That is your basis for you. Now basis for for this dimension basis for that. This is for the blue. What is that? Here a is equal to d and b is equal to two c. Means if d we choose. Then a is equal to d. If a is dependent and b is independent, so one is dependent here and one is dependent here. If you choose c, then b will be dependent. So two independent variables are there. So it means what is the dimension of the two? So now basis for the right any two variables will satisfy this. So we choose uh, a one, then b one, b one, c zero, then d zero. This one and something we take zero, b two, c one, zero. This and your choice. So this is basis for the now. Other part. How we calculate the basis of u intersection? 
which already I explained in previous lecture. So please follow that one and then you will get the basic. Here, uh, basic will come and my direction. This basis of new test in the group contains only zero vector. And that is always is there. At least one vector is there, common between G and F, that is zero, because both are subspace, it will contain zero. So if you know how we calculate U intersection W basis, then it's so much easy. Otherwise, please uh, go uh, uh, to my channel and uh, there I explain how we calculate basis for V plus W and V intersection W. So go for that. Now I will explain you about linear sum and direction. And what is the mean when it contains only the W G?
Now we have three subspaces of R. These are subspaces of R. Now R cube we can write as a linear sum of W1 plus W2. This correct or not? Check. W1 plus W2. What do we get? H, H, G, O, Y, Z. So we can. It has so many representations. See, X by two. Uh, how much? Like x, y, z belongs to R cube. We can write x, y, z how in terms of W one plus W two. See, we can take x by two, y, z. Hope you all understand this one. 
थैंक यू